So at the Vulcan Academy, we see young little Spock and yep. he's getting his her feelings hurt. And so he's getting bullied by the older kids. And they say these things about like, oh, we're logical, we're Vulcans, but actually, are they? Are they they're just full of emotions? Let's watch. It's also super cool Academy. For the volume of a sphere. Four thirds pi times the radius cube. Super cool. Super cool. I would love to study in a place like this because you get you get these little bowls that you sit in with like yeah. a, with high resolution graphics all the way around, and the way that these are shaped when you're speaking to your to the machine that's asking you questions, your sound doesn't travel to the next person. It goes up into mm -hmm. this big cavernous room. Mm -hmm. So uh, even though you have all these students here, all these pupils, it's probably pretty quiet in your little your little nook. At the same time, they're standing the whole time. They have no break. That's right. That's right. Yeah, give me a chair. <laughs> give me, yeah. Mm. And already. Yeah, yeah. Just, just okay. Okay. What is the dimensionality? Four thirds pi times when is an action set? When it is morally praiseworthy, but not morally obligatory. Real subtle there. They say, they they ask the question, what's the volume of the cube? They ask it twice. So that's like super important for Vulcan culture. Yeah, you know, test that, make sure. Okay. I didn't hear it twice, but new insults hey. for today. Affirmative. They're neither human nor Vulcan and therefore have no place in this universe. Look, it's human eyes. It looks sad. Perhaps an emotional response requires physical stimuli. He's a traitor, you know. Your father marrying her. That human whore. I mean, what? Come on, kids. <laughs> yeah, little Spock. <laughs> mess him up. Okay, so they go, these three sl slightly older kids they go yep. after young Spock and they bully him. They're like, oh, you have an emotional response. Mm -hmm. But isn't bullying already an emotional response? Like, wh why? Like, why do they want to bully him at all? Isn't that, isn't that already telling that they're having some emotional feeling in them already? I think, I think that's right. Because I think bullying is, I'm going to say, entirely motivated because of emotions. There's no reason to do it other than emotions. Right. Like, if... if if Spock is already socially, intellectually, emotionally, whatever, if they're lower than these three guys, then they, why did these guys feel a need to bully him? Like, whatever. Like, I'd right. be better than I'm done. In fact, it's really bad because an emotional reaction is in response to something. But if you do an emotional action, like these guys, unprompted bullying, mm -hmm. they are more emotional than Spock, who's only reacting. Right. That means whatever emotion is like sitting in them and festering, whereas Spock is like, I'm light, I'm free, I'm carefree until someone bullies me. Okay, then I respond. Then that, I respond. That, that's reasonable. Right. But if the bullying hadn't happened, he wouldn't have had an emotional response. Exactly. So these kids need to be looked into. Yeah, the way I was going to say it was <laughs> they need to get their heads out of their butts. But oh. I guess looking to, to get their heads out of their butts because they're like, they're like, oh, we don't have an emotion. But the, the fact that you're bullying him at all mm -hmm. means that you are full of emotion. That's right. In fact, they're using emotional language like whore in their yeah. bullying. Yeah, don't call it whore. Just uh, a person of the night. A, person uh, of the night, yeah. A sex, you know, employee. Yeah, right. Neutral terms. <laughs> Yeah, neutral terms. Sex entrepreneur. Okay. 